Let's now learn how to delete objects in our games. If you are inside Roblox Studio, it's very simple. You just gotta select the object and press delete and it's gone. You can also go to the Explorer window and select the object, right click on the object and select delete and it's gone. That was pretty simple. Now the bigger question is how to delete objects in scripting. So let's take for example this wall right here. I want to use script to delete this wall. I'm going to go to that wall, I'm going to add a script. First we want to declare the part, so we're going to say local part equal to script dot parent. Now to delete that part, we're going to say part colon destroy. Let's now run test and take a look. Our part is gone. It has been deleted. There are times when you don't want to delete your object immediately, but you want to delete it after a certain amount of time. In that case, you can do a task wait. For example, we're waiting for five seconds before we delete this object. Let's take a look. So the object is still there for five seconds and then it's gone. The only problem with doing it this way is when you do a task wait here, and if you have other tasks to perform after the object is destroyed, all these tasks down here are gonna be delayed by five seconds because it's gonna get stuck here for five seconds before it moves on to the next line in the script. If you have other tasks that you want them to go on without waiting for this part to be deleted, you can use the debris service. I'm now gonna close the script but I'm gonna copy the script to another part. Let's pick this part here. I'm gonna paste it into that part. And now let's go change the script to use the debris service. I'm gonna insert a new line in here. Local debris service equal to game colon get service debris. And we're going to go down here. Instead of using the destroy method, we're going to use the API of the debris service. So we're going to say debris service. The API is called add item. The first parameter is which object do we want to remove. So in this case, we want to remove the part. The second parameter is how much time to delay before the object is being removed. So in this case, how about we give it eight seconds? So let's take a look again in this part here. The first part, we're giving it five seconds before the object is being removed. For our second part here, which is this one, we're giving it eight seconds before the part is being removed. Let's now run test and take a look. So after five seconds, this part should disappear first, and then this part is going to disappear in eight seconds. The only difference there is when you use the debris service to remove an item, it's not gonna hold up your script. So if you have whatever that comes after this, the script is gonna continue to run those items after this line without waiting for eight seconds before it moves on. And those are the different methods of deleting objects inside Roblox.